Hi, this is Bill. And on this demo, I'll be showing you about service level agreements. So service level agreements basically is the promise that a service provider will be able to fix a particular incident and, and uh, its agreed response time. And at the moment, what I did to give you some further understanding, I have um, taken out or showed the column SLA Jew. So from here, uh, you will be able to see uh, a particular SLA in an incident ticket. And as we look at the short description, you will see here uh, that is corresponding to this um, particular table incident and, and this description. Now, if we drill down and we scroll down on at the bottom, you will see the task SLA. And what you're viewing here, the four rows, and this is the different SLAs that has been established in this um, agreement on this particular ticket, right? So, so what I'm telling you at the moment, or what I'm informing you is about how it is triggered. And once it is triggered uh, in a specific um, uh, ticket, right? And right now it's incident ticket, then this SLA will kick off, right? So you'll see at the bottom here that um, uh, the different information, right? So it's priority one resolution, right? And as we move to the right, when is the start, when is the end time? So you could have a series of combinations of SLAs, right? Um, it could be uh, specific teams, right? So as you have the level one service desk and you have to pause it because um, upon pausing, because the SLA is basically moved to the uh, level two or level three, or it could be uh, with the vendor, or you could be waiting information from the customer. So there's quite a few depending on your scenario, right? So to be able to create this, um, uh, let's go to service level and under service level. So you will be able to create um, under LS SLA definitions. And as you drill down, so these are the different um, SLAs, right? And if we go back to the incident, right? Uh, that we went to. So we could see here priority one, resolution one hour. But right? if you go back, right, and search for that, you should be able to see how the condition is basically created. And I think it's somewhere at the bottom, priority one, right? So I think it's this one. Let's uh, drill down. So as we drill down, it will give you the view um, how it is triggered, right? So this is a title, obviously. And uh, what's the target? And, and then again, um, service now is targeting um, a table or a module, right? And and it could have a workflow if needed be, uh, depending. And it, it there's not all SLAs has a workflow, but it really depends on how you logically going to build your SLA. And as we scroll down, uh, it's it starts when priority is critical, right? So these are fields in the incident uh, module. So if it's critical, then it's priority one. And as we move to the right, you will see here uh, what will be the duration, right? So the duration here is one hour. And what's the pause condition, right? So we may be awaiting from the incident creator, right? And what's the stop condition, right? So when the incident is basically closed, right? So it really depends on your, on your business rules, right? And the best practices that you would like to adopt. And um, ServiceNow has given the ability to configure um, SLAs, multiple SLAs, depending on what you need to comply on. I hope I managed to help you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.